Americans should consider themselves fortunate. If Iraq had equipped itself with France's Mirage 4000 fighters during the Gulf War, the days of the American F-14 Tomcat would have been difficult. Once the Tomcat was shot down by the Mirage 4000, the position of American fighter jets in the international defense product market would have suffered a heavy blow. While the world only knows about the Mirage 2000, they are unaware that France has an even more advanced Mirage 4000. As a heavy supersonic air superiority fighter, the Mirage 4000 demonstrated France's formidable military-industrial capabilities amid the dominance of American and Soviet fighters. Today, I will introduce you to the advanced fighter jet that carried the dreams of France's heavy aircraft but ultimately met its demise, the Mirage 4000. If we talk about the toughest man in France, it would undoubtedly be Charles de Gaulle. When France surrendered during World War II, de Gaulle fled to England alone and led free France to continue its resistance. Against the backdrop of the US-Soviet Cold War in 1966, when everyone feared the power of the Soviet Union, de Gaulle led France to pursue an independent foreign policy. France not only voluntarily withdrew from NATO but also insisted on removing all U.S. military forces stationed in France. As a result, if a war were to break out, France would not receive support from NATO countries, and the French Air Force would have to rely solely on its own capabilities to defend its airspace. Therefore, high-speed, high-altitude, long-range air superiority fighters became an indispensable choice for France. After careful consideration, France abandoned the idea of using American-made fighters, and Dassault Aviation once again took up the banner of the French aviation industry and undertook the development of the Mirage 4000. In 1975, Dassault Brigitte proposed two new designs using the Snecma M53 engine. One design was for a single-engine fighter, which later became the Mirage 2000, and the other was for a twin-engine fighter, the Mirage 4000. The Mirage 4000 can be seen as an enlarged and improved version of the Mirage 2000. In terms of design, both aircraft returned to the Delta Wing configuration that was temporarily abandoned after the Mirage 3, and they introduced fly-by-wire flight control systems. Marcel Dessau, the founder of Dessau Aviation, firmly believed that heavy air superiority fighters were the absolute mainstay of air combat and that there was a market for this category of fighters. For example, the American F-14 and F-15, as well as the European Collaborative Development Tornado wealthy Middle Eastern countries showed great interest in these types of fighters, particularly after Israel introduced the F-15. Saudi Arabia and other countries also hoped to acquire this type of fighter to counterbalance Israel. If France could penetrate the international market with the Mirage 4000, it could break the monopolies of the United States and the Soviet Union and provide overseas customers with an alternative that did not depend on the US or the Soviet Union. It could even influence the policies of a country, which would be of extraordinary significance. In September, Dassault announced that they would independently develop this Delta Wing twin-engine fighter, initially named Super Mirage Delta and later renamed Super Mirage 4000. Marcel Dassault wrote in his autobiography that the Mirage 4000 and Mirage 2000 were part of the same project, but the Mirage 4000 had a twin-engine configuration, a greater payload, and a longer range, making it a strong competitor to the US F-15 and F-18. We all know that the Mirage 2000 of France is a highly successful multi-role fighter jet. It has participated in numerous military operations since the 1980s, including the Gulf War, the Bosnian War, the Kosovo War, and others. The Mirage 2000 has also been exported to multiple countries and regions and remains one of the three main fighter jets of the Taiwanese Air Force. As the sister aircraft of the Mirage 2000, what distinguishes the Mirage 4000? The Mirage 4000 and Mirage 2000 share the same engine and weapon systems. However, in comparison, the Mirage 4000 has a 20% increase in total length and a 33% increase in wingspan. 
The maximum takeoff weight has also increased from 17.5 tons to 32 tons. It is a standard air superiority fighter. Apart from the difference between single-engine and twin-engine configurations, the Mirage 4000 also features a pair of fixed four planes on each side of the air intakes. This design has also contributed to the later improvements to the Mirage 2000. In terms of structure, the Mirage 4000 extensively utilizes boron and carbon fiber composite materials. The vertical tail of the aircraft is also made of carbon fiber composites and houses additional fuel tanks. Combined with the internal fuel tanks in the fuselage and wings, the Mirage 4000 has three times the fuel carrying capacity of the Mirage 2000. Coupled with aerial refueling capability, this allows the Mirage 4000 to have a much larger combat radius than other fighter aircraft. Due to its long range and strong penetration capability, French authorities even considered replacing the Mirage 4 bomber with the Mirage 4000 for primary nuclear strike missions. Dassault Aviation proposed a different concept at the time. The United States Air Force was using a high-low operational model, with the F-15 seizing air superiority and the F-16 providing support and executing ground attack missions. Dassault Aviation also wanted to leverage the features of the Mirage 4000 by having the French Air Force use both the Mirage 4000 and Mirage 2000 together. However, it is evident that the French Air Force did not endorse Dassault Aviation's concept. In terms of power systems, both the Mirage 4000 and Mirage 2000 use the M53 engine, which is the only single-shaft turbofan engine in the world. This engine performs well when accelerating at supersonic speeds and low-altitude subsonic speeds. It has a simple structure and is easy to maintain. Each M53 engine has a maximum thrust of 64 kilonewtons and a thrust with an afterburner of 95.1 kilonewtons, resulting in a thrust-to-weight ratio of 6.4. Without external stores, two engines give the Mirage 4000 a thrust-to-weight ratio exceeding 1.0, which is the highest among fighter aircraft of the same class. Its performance is comparable to that of the American F-15 and the Soviet Su-27. The twin engines provide the Mirage 4000 with greater thrust, and its maximum speed reaches Mach 2.2. It is also more maneuverable and agile than the Mirage 2000, making it more suitable for medium to long-range interception and low-level penetration missions. Regarding the weapon systems, the Mirage 4000 fighter jet is designed with 11 external hardpoints for mounting medium-range and short-range air-to-air missiles. For ground attack missions, it can carry various air-to-ground missiles and rockets. The Mirage 4000 has a payload capacity of 8 tons and can also be equipped with reconnaissance pods. The aircraft is also fitted with two 30mm cannons. The prototype of the Mirage 4000 did not have a radar installed, but its nose cone diameter was enlarged to accommodate a more powerful radar antenna, which extends the aircraft's search range. In 1979, the Mirage 4000 made its first flight. During the test flights, the aircraft demonstrated air combat capabilities on par with the American F-15. At the 1980 air show, the Mirage 4000 roared over the heads of the audience with a tremendous noise. It then performed tactical maneuvers with extremely small radius turns, astonishing everyone. Its impressive performance overshadowed many competitors, such as the American F-15B, F-16B, TF-18A, and the European Consortium's Tornado F-2. The president of Dassault Aviation excitedly proclaimed that the Mirage 4000 would become the elite among heavy fighters and undoubtedly the best fighter aircraft. However, Despite being hailed as an elite fighter, why was it not formally put into production and only one prototype built? As mentioned earlier, Dassault Aviation proposed a high-low mix operational model to the French Air Force, with the Mirage 4000 as the heavy fighter and the Mirage 2000 as the light fighter, forming the core of France's air power. However, the French Air Force rejected the proposal not because the Mirage 4000's performance was inadequate but because the aircraft was too expensive. The Mirage 4000 alone costs $23 million per unit, and due to limitations in the defense budget, 
the French Air Force already faced difficulties in purchasing a sufficient number of Mirage 2000, let alone the more expensive Mirage 4000. France's economic power was also far from that of the United States, making it difficult to adopt the money-burning model of simultaneously equipping two main fighter jets. The French Defense Committee had initially planned to purchase 50 Mirage 4000 aircraft, but they were deterred by the high unit cost. Additionally, the French Air Force needed to reserve funds for the development of the next-generation Rafale fighter aircraft. These various reasons led to the abandonment of the idea of purchasing the Mirage 4000, and the planned integration of the Mirage 4000 into the French Air Force was cancelled. Unable to secure domestic orders, Dassault Aviation turned to export markets. The main target for export was the wealthy countries in the Middle East that were denied the sale of advanced fighters by the United States and the Soviet Union but had the capability to purchase them. After careful consideration, the few wealthy countries in the Middle East, such as Iraq and Saudi Arabia, were identified as potential customers interested in the Mirage 4000. The first letter of intent for the Mirage 4000 was signed with Iraq. Iraq intended to purchase a sufficient number of Mirage 4000 aircraft to counter the American-made F-14 fighters operated by Iran. The plan was progressing smoothly, and Iraq sent a delegation to France to discuss the purchase. However, just as the deal was about to be concluded, the Iran-Iraq war broke out, and Iraq no longer had the funds to support the project. The procurement plan fell through, and Dassault Aviation lost a major customer, further worsening the sales prospects. Unfortunately, due to Iraq not acquiring the Mirage 4000, there was no opportunity to witness a confrontation between French and American main fighters in the skies over the Middle East. The second potential customer for Dassault Aviation was Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, with its large size and significant influence in the Middle East, was interested in the Mirage 4000, as the United States did not plan to export the F-15 to avoid posing a threat to Israel. In 1980, the Saudi Minister of Defense witnessed the spectacular performance of the Mirage 4000 at an air show and expressed interest in purchasing it to counter the F-15S operated by Israel. However, the deal was not ultimately reached, primarily due to the high cost of the Mirage 4000. The Mirage 4000, which was not adopted by the French Air Force, was already at a disadvantage for export. Without economies of scale in production, Dassault Aviation found it challenging to reduce the aircraft's cost. As a result, the selling price of the Mirage 4000 reached a high point of $40 million, equivalent to approximately $200 to $300 million today. This high price was not affordable for the French Air Force, let alone a wealthy country like Saudi Arabia. Furthermore, after the Islamic Revolution in Iran, the United States relaxed its restrictions on arms exports to Saudi Arabia to win its support. This gave Saudi Arabia an opportunity to purchase the advanced weapons available from the United States. Considering these factors, Saudi Arabia ultimately chose the F-15, which was already in service with the United States Air Force. With no government orders and unfavorable export conditions, the Mirage 4000 was never put into mass production. The plan for France's heavy fighter ultimately fell apart. Starting in 1985, the prototype Mirage 4000 was used for early testing of the Rafale fighter. In 1995, the world's only Mirage 4000 fighter aircraft was sent to an aviation museum on the outskirts of Paris as an exhibit. The dim lighting of the museum put an unattractive end to this elegantly designed fighter jet. Its disappearance marked the end of France's dream of independently developing a heavy air superiority fighter. The president of Dassault Aviation expressed his sorrow, saying, this was our only heavy fighter that could rival the F-15. Unfortunately, the opportunity has been missed.